Hi, today we're going to learn about custom actions in Toddle. So you know that inside of Toddle, you can go to a button or to any element and go on an action, and I just delete this one, you can go on a button and you can go on the events and you can go to click and you can tie it to a custom action, for example, confetti. And if I click on it, I'm going to get confetti, yay. <laughs> but what we can also do is we can write custom actions. Now, we need to write custom actions if what we need is not in this list here, if we have custom functionality. Now, the cool thing about Toddle is they let you, they let you do that. And I wanna show you today how to do that, right? So more than likely, you're going to go to get some help from ChatGBT. For example, how to make a confirm dialogue, which is something that Toddle doesn't offer. So we can go in here, we go to our folders on the side, and we go to actions. Now I can do custom confirm, and I can create. I have now my custom confirm, as you can see in here, and I can now copy my confirm. I'm going to go to toddle. I'm going to put that code in here, remove the first line. We don't need the comments. Let's give it some air to breathe. Here we go. I like that. Beautiful. And now we have a working confirm model. So if I click on here, actually, I need to base it on there now. So I go on the button, I go and click, and I go on here and I do my custom confirm. I click on here and I now have my custom confirm. I can cancel and I can confirm. Now I just have this action, but you know, we want to process certain logic on confirm and certain logic if we don't confirm. And now I need the help of toddle dev AI because I need to see how I do those events again. And Total Dev AI is a great resource if, if you have like some questions. So how do I do the CTX event for my success event in a custom action? And let's see what Total AI is telling us. I really like that Total has Total AI um, it's it's a great tool and it helps me a lot. So we have that here. I can just copy that. Uh, sadly, Wiz doesn't have their AI anymore. I was shocked to see that, that they sunsetted it now because I think having a custom AI trained by the company that builds the tool is in today's age an absolute must. So that that's, that's something to keep in mind. Toddle has that AI, but... Uh, but if we go to their pricing page, uh, it looks like they maybe not long anymore because they want to charge you for that AI, right? It seems like to be an add-on that's coming soon. So they probably are going to capitalize on that. Um, then if you need like the best AI in the industry, you can also go to NoCode ProCode and make your membership and, uh, and get my AI that is trained on WIST and all my 200 videos uh, as a member for free and you get all that under other perks as well, just saying. <laughs> but there was enough advertisement already. Um, but now let's go back to Toddle and we have our event. So think about it like this, if confirm, if else. So if I confirm, right, if I click the button and say confirm, I want to be able to process logic. Now I could write the code in here as JavaScript, but that would not make it modular and not make it work inside of the Toddle ecosystem. So I can delete this and put a custom CTX trigger event and I do success. I can call a success event in here. Boom, I can call a success event. I just need to call that and then target it by the name. So I can copy this, I can go to events and I can call that event success, right? Toddle thinks in events that an event in an action is something that fires and once it is fires, we can then move another Toddle block in there. So this is a placeholder kind of like for another Toddle block. I copy this, I do the same thing for failure. So we can do success, fail. And I have my fail and I put my fail in here, so now we have those outputs, right? We have 
something that we can put into success, and we have something on fail. This is what comes out of my custom action. Now, sometimes we have things coming into a custom action, like just coming from the side and saying, hey, let me in. And the way we can do that is using arguments. So I can go in here because maybe we want to have a custom confirm message, right? So I can go to arcs and actually right now, let's just keep this empty and let's go to arguments. Let's add a plus. This will be our input. I can call this message. I make this type of string because it's text. And then I do arcs dot message. Arcs are the arguments. So the arguments are the input in your custom action. This is the input that your custom action can use to then do those things dynamically for the JavaScript. And the events are the output. So if the JavaScript does this, I want to have the output. So then I have like a slot where I can put in the another toddle block in there to have like my modular way how to do code. So we wrote code and this is kind of like the JavaScript that we can write that that total gives us the flexibility. But now if I go on this button here, you will see that this turned into like a whole no code module where I have my success and I have my fail and I can run modular logic in here. And that is amazing. So right now we can go in here and we can make a custom message. We say, I feel good today. I feel good today. Now, when I click on this, it's going to say, I feel good today. I do. I do all the time, but uh, here we go. And then I can do on click. If I click on confirm, yes, I feel good today. I feel good. Uh, I'll make even the thing like with AI music and Toddle. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll make it I'll make like a whole template and course is going to be a big thing as like probably like a five hour video or so. So it's coming. Uh, I can do like confetti. So like if I feel good, I do confetti. So now I click on here. I feel good today. Okay. And I have confetti. But what if I have a failure? So if I go on failure, I can go on fail. And what do we do on fail? Uh, how about we do on fail? We, uh, what could we do on fail? If what, what could we do if we don't feel good today? How about, oh, I have an idea. We, we are going to add a heading. Here you go. And we're going to, here we go. H2, we put that in the H2. We take the H2, we move it on the top. We have the H2 and we have it say, ah. Oh. And we add an emoji like, oh, or maybe not like, like a sorry, like a sorry emoji. Here you go. Boom. And here we go. Let's make this white. Here you go. So we can show this. So we create a variable now. And we call this show, we make this false. And then if the variable for show is false, we can go to this heading and we can go to attributes and we can go to show and we can base it on the show variable. And if it is false, it will be not, sh not shown, right? So then I can go on the button and oops, I can go to events and I can go on fail. So if I fail to confirm, right? If I say, I don't feel good today, I want my show variable to be true and then I want it to be true. So now when I click on here and I say, I click on here, I feel good. I get confetti. If I click on here and I say, no, I don't feel good. I get, oh, sorry. <laughs> and we can even make it that it disappears after a few seconds. So in order to do that, let's just unselect this. Oops. Here we go. I can go on here and I can go on doo -doo 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 -doo. no actually i have to go to the button i go to my action i go to the fail on top of the fail i add a sleep right actually i add it below so i make it true and then i sleep let's sleep for for uh five seconds and then i can copy this just command c go here and on the tick the tick is after it completed the sleep i want the show to be false so 
If it fails, if I say I don't feel good, it's going to make the show variable true. If the show variable is true, this is going to be shown here. And then after it is shown, we sleep, we have a timeout, five seconds. And then after the timeout is ready, so after it ticks, after the alarm goes off, we turn the show variable back to false, so this disappears. So now in theory, if I click on here and say, okay, I get that, if I click on here, cancel, it is shown, and then after a few seconds, it should disappear, as you can see right here. So I click on here, I feel good, okay, I'm going to say, yay, I feel good, confetti. And then I can go, no, I don't feel good, and say, oh, I'm sorry. And then after a few seconds, it's going to disappear. And the cool thing about Toddle is we can use custom functions visually. So this is so great because think about it like this. If you're versatile with JavaScript, you can write complex things in here. And then if you hand it over to someone who's not that skilled in JavaScript, they just go in here and they can work with all the dozens of lines of code that you wrote, wrote in like this kind of like a no code Zapier style block visually right at that that's a big thing and then i can even make i can even tie this text dynamically to variables and to data on the page and do exciting stuff with it so that is very cool right so toddle is is, is such a great tool because it gives you all the flexibility of code and it gives you the ease of use from no code now most no code tools are saying, okay, yes, we have this part that's no code. And we have this part where you can add custom code. The custom code is kind of like, like an alien. We don't really recognize it or accept it, but you can add it in there and hijack those things together. With Toddle, they say, you know what? In custom code, you can build the component. We open it up for you for our actions. We let you build those actions in JavaScript and we give you the arguments and the events that you can compose inside of your code so you can even send data out because those arguments can also send data back. So I could even add like a, like a comma and add like data in here. So I could add like um, a success message and then use that as a dynamic variable for my further steps, but that would go too much into the depth of it. I'll make a whole uh, advanced action video on my no code pro code site. So if you are not already, I think uh, now it's time to look into that uh, because we're going to have a lot of uh, advanced stuff for Toddle in there. Um, but yeah, if you go in here, you can add like those things and then you can send dynamic data back, which is something that is very cool. And, you know, because it, it lets you compose code into a no code framework to offer scalability, to offer uh, all those features. And then you can go in here and and you can use it without writing a single line of code, right? You can use it as this no code block thing, right? Which I think is very cool. And then you can make your functions in here visually. Very cool. So if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, how to build cool and custom web apps in Toddle, um, we have daily office hours with no code pro code where we are going to help you across your roadblocks, help you understand things better. I do daily office hours in there. It's five days a week. And, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a great value. It's a great help that you're getting. And it's like for everyone, we have beginners and experts in there. And you're going to get templates for Toddle. You're going to get courses. You're going to get components, right? And you're going to get access to a bunch of cool things and tools that will make uh, you know, doing things in total way easier. So yeah, um, I would love to see you at office hours and in that in that membership. Um, it's right now because we have we're we're getting you know a lot of requests from a lot of different people. Right now it's like on invite only. So what you do, you just have like this little thing where you have to watch me like a minute talking and then you can submit like a little application video that's just you know to make sure that we know who is part of that membership part of that community and that we can make sure to really help you so don't get scared by the application process you know just 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 do like a minute video talking about you 
uh, so that you know you're not a stranger joining into a community. You're, we don't have like a stranger in our office hours or something. We don't want that. Uh, you know, it's just to, to get you a little bit to know before you join. But you have like visual code generation tools. You can upvote on templates. You get weekly templates and components, custom JavaScript libraries to make your life easier, daily support office hours where we help you with all of that above. So yeah, I would uh, I would uh, love to see you in there. But regardless of if you join or not, the total tutorials on this YouTube channel are coming. Um, if it's just that if you want to do more of the advanced stuff and you need more hands-on uh, support and more in-depth knowledge on how to do things complex in total and how to do complex things easy, because that's a real important thing, I would love to see you at nocodeprocode.com at our office hours. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, I truly, truly appreciate and I'm truly thankful for each and every one watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And I'm so thankful for the total team um, to build this great tool and to be so like just that you don't know how great the total team is. Like I'm building my own tool and I ask like Andreas, may I borrow this editor here? Could you like send me like a snippet or like a template for this editor? And he sent me a component from the total source code that I can reuse in my own product. This is like such a big thing to me. I'm so thankful for Andreas and so thankful for what he did because that's not like that's not normal in the industry. Like when your competitor kind of like ask you like, you know, I built this thing in Toddle. How about you share, because you built Toddle in Toddle, how about you share this component with me, like this, this template? That's like such a great thing. So I'm so thankful for the Toddle team to, to be, to work, to, so that I was able to discover this product. It's such a great product. And I'm so thankful because they're just such a great team. And uh, Vakas, I also love him. He's amazing. We had the video where we just like laughed the whole time. Like it's such a great team. Uh, it, it's such a warm community. They welcomed me with open hearts. It's a great tool, but more importantly, it's a great team. And because it's such a great team around a great tool, they are very successful and they will be even more successful. They gained my whole trust and I completely endorse and suggest to everyone to use Toddle. Even if you build something in Wist, Toddle is great to work with Wist together. You don't have to ditch Wist because we also love Joe and we love Alex um, and the whole FinSuite team, but they work just so beautifully together. And I'll also make a whole crash course in how to combine Toddle with Wist to get the best out of each platform. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone supporting me, everyone. And thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.